Sir, we're mission accomplished. At ease, gentlemen. You did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Frankly, we were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep-up duty, sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> Great. We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. I'll call them. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Right. Here. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roll up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Oh, yeah. yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. Ha! <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. I see the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. They've been working non-stop for 20 years. Ah, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost, and <laughs> we'll have two robots here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too! Please, <laughs> spare me, your singing is an atrocity. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. 
<laughs> and don't forget, after the official ceremony, we'll be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by, as usual. We'll be there. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The general is expecting you. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? All right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer, unless... How about some tea? You do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him, almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man, an OSCOM fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things OSCOM. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <laughs> he still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. <sighs> you must do certain things. And then look into his eyes, thinking... Would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero, Slava, isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. But I say they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. 
Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right, you got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity, if they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. That was deep. Philosophical like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course too. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Hate making public addresses, but the occasion calls for it. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Colonel, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Happy new year. On duty tonight, I feel for you. You know, sir, it could have been worse. Yeah, at least guarding the green stuff storage isn't a hard job, really. Though I hope nobody's planning the heist of this century on New Year's Eve, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Well, good night to you. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Come on, Paul, we're gonna be late! What do you mean, Grisha? There's a lot of time left. Besides, you're already tipsy. No, 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 Grisha's right. We're going to be late drinking to... to friendship. Ah, yes, friendship. I guess... Let's drink to things this year staying same as they were last year. Only much better. Yes! Hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. You'd better go up through the restaurant and get to the gallery from there. Thanks. Happy New Year. Same to you, Colonel, sir. I'm missing to get into proper festive mood, like before the war. Oranges. Ah, oh, damn, why did you have to remind me? Oh, now I'll spend the whole night thinking about them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Perhaps we could think about them together. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! Look, Tanya, I just... So this is the new year. Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages away! Oh, come on, Tanya! Come on! Just look! Look at what your son has to wear! Look at what I have to wear! There's no food at home! Do you understand that? Well, your health! I am in debt to everyone! I can't even look the neighbors in the eye! Do you even care about us? You're a disgrace! You drunk everything away! All the green stuff you got! They didn't give much, the greedy bastards. And anyway, come on! It's the New Year's! Oh, this was you fun. scum! Slime! Drunkard! A disgrace! Why did I ever marry you? <laughs> We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. Thank you. Happy New Year, sir. Thanks. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know the guy? The one with big ears. He also keeps telling ancient jokes all the time, don't he? What's up with him? Something is for sure. 
They sent him topside to guard the construction crews. Construction crews? Are they building a new storehouse? No, the road. Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. How about a drink? The third one is on the house tonight. Uh, tempting, but no thanks. Suit yourself. You could drop by later, once you put your kid to sleep. We'll be open till dawn. Thank you. I just might. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? We are not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. Some units must have remained. I can't believe we're the only ones. One more before they start. So, who you meet? And they ask you to introduce yourself. So you say, I need your people. <laughs> So you should take those extra stars off and stick them where the sun don't shine. What army are you talking about? We would have heard if it was around. It's been 20 years. You didn't expect an ambush here? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your citrep? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There is just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see? I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on! Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you! Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a Happy New Year! Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one! Happy New Year! Oh, damn! This sucks! The damn generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. Reading you loud and clear, Colonel. Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. 
Where is that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitute from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. Citizens, we urge you to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authorities. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. Enough already. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest You know what's dregs? at stake. Our children among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? <sighs> Don't mind if I do. Help yourself, then. <sighs> it's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the sort. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on living dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. But Zobi doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. You too, Tolia.
So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. Hello, sir. How's the situation, Sergeant? They're getting restless, sir. Our only option is to remain calm and not let ourselves be provoked. Yes, sir. We won't How can we do this to him? Karma, please, tell them to do something. Please, Karma, tell them to stop we'll handing it out. We can't so wait anymore. Post contact for radiation sickness. He can't wait. You cut the rest of the We have to wait another week. Come on. We need to make stuff according to the list. Please have patience. We'll be starting soon. Please get in line. Come on. Are you waiting for us to die here or what? What the hell is with you? How long do we have to wait? Stop Come on! When are we going to get our pay? Hey, children! Get get the 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 Please, remain calm! Don't crawl, that's hey. true! We'll start handing the green stuff out Step away! Colonel, sir, permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those. What the hell is But he won't you? open the door. I see. Let's go. I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch, soldier boy. I <laughs> just here. remembered the new Come year. over here, sir! Didn't we have a drink right over here? Do you remember? Of course I do! Open up, Petrovich! Slava! Uh, come in. Thanks. Monique. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't. I can't help but miss them. You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh my god. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know. But it we was followed the rules. Honest. I found the I cash, so it. he does have some. I can't Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this... We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me, son. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Thank Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air. It was calculated properly. And you're short. Pay the rest. Sure, he went cuckoo from a dirty station, I gather, or the depot. He probably thought we were swimming in green stuff here, that dumbass. Uh, how can you put it like this? I can put it even harder. They shouldn't even let us rabble in here, much less give them handouts. Shh, shh. They'll hear you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. I'm sorry for the mess here, but the refugees just keep coming in. The dirty stations have it real tough. The General ordered they are kept here for the moment. Then we'll pass them on. I see. Thank you, Sergeant.
Oscom, open up. Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Bitterskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course, those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. 